A huge variety of coins were minted in the Roman Empire, and many have survived to the present day. Yet, very few are mentioned in the extant literary sources of the time. This video provides a brief survey of those coins that were in fact mentioned. In his work, The Life of Constantine, written in the early 4th century, the Christian historian Eusebius offers numerous accounts of specific coins. The first coin he mentions is a gold solidus that Constantine issued with his mother Elena on the obverse. He does not mention any particular reverse, but Elena was usually paired with securitas. Coins of Elena were also struck in bronze. The next coin Eusebius mentions is a solidus of Constantine, on which his eyes look upwards to heaven on the obverse. Eusebius makes the explicit connection of this type with Christianity. No specific reverse is mentioned, and this coin was paired with a variety of them. Once again, this obverse type was also issued in bronze. The final coin mentioned by Eusebius is the one that commemorates Constantine's deification, which was issued after Constantine's death in 337. On the obverse, Constantine is veiled, and on the reverse, he pilots a four-horse chariot, while the hand of God reaches down to him, and he reaches up to it. Eusebius once again emphasises the Christian nature of this image, and there's little doubt that the hand of God was a Christian motif. Eusebius does not comment on the fact that this coin commemorates Constantine's deification, and that it labels him Divus Constantinus, a practice more consistent with the imperial cult of Roman paganism than with Christianity. Nor does he point out that a four-horsed chariot being driven amongst the heavens has strong associations with solar deities of Roman paganism, much like Sol Invictus, who Constantine favoured in his early years as emperor. This exact issue was also struck in bronze. This next coin features in multiple literary sources due to its controversial nature. Chronologically, the first mention of this coin in the sources is from its designer and issuer himself, the pagan emperor Julian. In his work called the Misopogon, or Beard Hater, which is addressed to the citizens of Antioch, Julian notes how the largely Christian Antiochians mock his beard and the designs on his coins. The Antiochians were no doubt referring to his famous bull coinage that was issued on large bronzes. As you can tell from the mint mark, the example shown on screen was struck in Antioch itself. The next account of this coin chronologically is that from Ephraim the Syrian, who was a Christian hymnographer. His hymns against Julian were composed shortly after Julian's death in 363. Ephraim, ever keen on biblical imagery, invokes Julian's bull coinage to compare it to the golden calf of the Old Testament. He does this while attacking Julian's positive relationship with Judaism, and implies that pagans and Jews are working together against the Christians. Later in the work, Ephraim also insults Julian's beard, calling him a billy goat. Socrates Scholasticus, writing a church history in the mid-5th century, also relates how the citizens of Antioch insulted Julian and his coin. He tells us how the Antiochians said Julian was treating the world like a bull or other sacrificial animal by converting to paganism and being excessively superstitious. Socrates incorrectly states that an altar was depicted on the coin alongside the bull. Sozomen, another mid-5th century church historian, also references this coin. However, Sozomen used Socrates' history when writing his own, therefore his account does not add anything new. Sozomen does not repeat Socrates' incorrect statement about the altar. So what if you wanted to add these coins to your own collection? Obviously, any gold coins will cost a significant amount of money. However, as stated throughout this video, all of these coins were issued in bronze, which means all of these issues can be acquired for significantly less money. By utilising the Coin Archives tool to check the prices realised for these coins in the last six months, I was able to calculate roughly how much it would cost for you to acquire the set of coins mentioned in the primary sources. This number includes any auction fees, and shows that you can acquire this collection without breaking the bank, provided you stick to bronze.